With all the excitement about Windows Virtual Desktop, you may be wondering how to deploy your FSLogix profile containers. I'm, in this video, I'll be showing you how to deploy FSLogix containers on Microsoft's enterprise-grade NFS SMB service, Azure NetApp Files. To get started, simply search for Windows Virtual Desktop in the marketplace and click provision a host pool. You'll be presented with this screen. Select your appropriate subscription, your resource group, pick the region to deploy your Windows Virtual Desktops in. Supply your host pool name, try and remember this as it's quite important later down the line. And then choose yourself a desktop type. So if you want your Windows Virtual Desktops to be shared, uh, what's called multi-session, which can save you significant amounts of uh, money on infrastructure, then you can use pooled. Or if you'd like to use uh, personal machines where each user is given their own virtual uh, machine within Azure, then choose personal. Next, we're going to specify the virtual machines that we're going to use for our host pool. Uh, Azure supplies this really handy sizer, so you pick the appropriate usage profile and it will automatically size for the amount of users that you specify according to the virtual machine size that you've specified there. Light is six users per vCPU, medium is four, and heavy is two. Next, you're going to specify a virtual machine prefix. So if you imagine every virtual desktop that you deploy will have this prefix on there, and it will add a sequential number for as you scale. So your first one would be called zero, second, one, the, the third, two, and so on. Then you're going to select your virtual machine itself. So what image uh, you, you would like to provide that can be from the gallery. It can be a managed image, or you can also have uh, something specified from the blob storage itself. Choose the disk type for your boot OS as well. So this could be either standard SSD or uh, standard hate hard disk drives there. Then you're going to specify your credentials for allowing these hosts to actually jo join your active uh, directory. And of course you need to then give it the credentials in order to do so. You can also specify to join particular domain or uh, uh, organizational units within the active directory as well. Finally, you're going to select the virtual network that these hosts will be provisioned into. You want to ensure that this virtual network has connectivity to your Azure NetApp files. As you can see, I'm deploying in the hub. You can also deploy in any peered spoke as well. Next, we're going to specify some Windows Virtual Desktop information. So you're going to supply your tenant group, the tenant name, the RDS owner. Is that going to be a UPN or a service principal? And if it is a, a UPN, then provide the credentials for that tenant owner that you've set up before. And that's it, you've successfully completed the provisioning for your hosts for Windows Virtual Desktop. And now we'll go and configure the storage for your FSLogix profiles.